Nobel Committee has just announced that the 2013 Nobel Prize for Peace has been awarded to the Office W. Thank you, General. Welcome. I will hold your hand because Thank it's you. slippery. Thank here. you very much. Thank yes. you. Thank I you. will get you on safe ground. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So you're looking forward to three intensive days? Actually, I do, yes. Yes, we hope so. It's a very exciting time for me and uh, for the organizations. How do you pronounce your family? Oh, yeah. Uzumchu. Uzumchu. So it's a Z, Uzumchu. Uzumchu, yes. And then we have our guest folks. on the outside. They will come in for the signing. So please, please. opportunity to present the OPCW to the public. I started the OPCW about 16 and a half years ago and people ask me where do you work? I say OPCW, never heard of it. Because of you people, you've promoted us and now when I say I work for the OPCW, people say oh congratulations. I said why? You've won the Nobel Prize. <laughs> so if we start at that side and we'll walk around the equipment.
it was very much about the ability and, and the privilege to be with them and to, to see them do um, the important work that they do sort of in, in, a, in a real life situation. What I feel, what I sense sort of are, are very dedicated, very concentrated people. There is a tension, there is a sense of purpose, a sense of, of mission. And the fact that they do it sort of systematically, sort of year after year, sort of, um, and, um, and in, in the relatively short life of this organization, so they, they've had tremendous success. Wil jij hem nog één keer voor mij proberen? Dat doek? Uh, oh, je bedoelt om het ja. uh, te unfeelen? Ja. Kijk, Moet ik hard trekken? Of, uh, nee, je, kijk, je, je trekt gewoon naar de zijkant naar beneden. Dat ja. is de bijgang. Hier komt hij. 1, 2, 3. Vind je dat prima? Zo. So, uh, you just, uh, as soon as you get out of the car, we line up here like this. You may meet the king and queen again. You have had an audience with them, with yes. them earlier, but they, we, you may meet them again here. That depends on how closely we time this. I will All try right. to avoid okay. that, actually. And this mm. is the first procession. We get a sign but from this man. Don't okay. let us when, stand when there for three minutes. <laughs> because standing up there for something like three minutes, it's ages. Is I mean, it? Oh, okay. It's just so long. the picture from the ceremony 2013 you standing there with the diploma and the excellent perfect det där var ju väldigt bra oj det är bra detta gör mig bekymrad vi play alltid mot det väldigt på den rad för att det ingen går ju bra på sen Peace Prize concert is is uh, in the other room here and, and uh, yeah um, waiting for for a good talk. We need to answer. We need to foresee all options. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Scott is uh, actually one of our inspection team leaders. 
and um, he's from Canada, but he's also Scott. <laughs> 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 Scott and uh, my Scottish colleague, a real one. Hi, good morning. Bob Fairweather, very good speaking. Thank you, Bob Cabinet. Bob Fairweather, they Ahmed Azumchu, welcome to Hard Talk. Now it is 20 years to the day since the ship, so they will not uh, go along with the uh, with the uh, convoy. <laughs> I still remember my first inspection. I still remember my training. None of it prepared me for this. Hi there. Gentlemen. Good to see you again. For makeup? Have I've you, already been makeup. Okay. Oh. From Oslo, Norway, CNN presents The Prize for Peace, a conversation with the leaders of the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, winner of the 2013 Nobel Peace Prize. You don't hear many heroic stories about chemical weapons. Maybe the only heroic thing about them is the long, dangerous, and difficult job of getting rid of them. It left more than 1,400 people dead. The use of chemical weapons in the conflict only heightened the outrage. But I think uh, there shouldn't be any victims. You know, the, the recognition that uh, that's been occurring. It's. Uh, I think it's a good. I think it honors them greatly. So many victims of all types of war are forgotten very quickly. So if we can keep the focus or the attention on this, uh, I think it's the least, the best of the least that we can do, I think, at, at, at this point. the many that pay their lives on the battlefield, in their homes, on the squares, in schools and hospitals, wherever mass killing occurred when the inhuman gas arrived, of PC double use work also bring justice to them. Destiny has ruled that we rid the world of chemical weapons and that we achieve this in our lifetime. This is our place in history. And this is the future we are creating, a future for which our children and grandchildren can be truly thankful. I thank you. While we are not used to the sort of attention that the OPSW has been attracting lately, we welcome it for a very simple reason that we can all understand. It not only raises awareness about the vital work of the OPCW, 
but also gives us all an opportunity to participate in whatever way we can to make the world a safer place by promoting universal disarmament. This Nobel Peace Prize belongs to you, all of you, ambassadors, delegates, secretary, staff, past and present, can be just proud of this extraordinary achievement. We are moving closer to a world free of chemical weapons because of our effective cooperation.